I'm Dr. Douglas Resnick from Rocky Mountain Cancer Centers in Denver, Colorado. While the incidence of smoking has declined in Colorado, the majority of my patients with lung cancer have a history of smoking. It may seem more common for never smokers to have an actionable mutation, but you should keep in mind that patients with a history of smoking may also develop these mutations. I would like to discuss a real world scenario just like one you could be facing in your practice as I do in mine at Rocky Mountain Cancer Centers. This is Greg, who has stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung that has metastasized to his liver. He has a 15 pack year history of smoking, which he quit 10 years ago. Both a pd one assay and a full molecular panel were ordered as part of his workup. Three days later, the pd one result returned with a tumor proportion score of 55%. However, additional time is necessary for the mutational analysis results to come back. The patient is now in your office, accompanied by his daughter. Both of them have extensive questions about immunotherapy based on the research they've done they are inquiring if Greg can start immunotherapy immediately. It's common for patients such as Greg to request immunotherapy treatment, even though the balance of test results have not yet been completed. It is important to acknowledge that patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer can have coexistence of pd one and an actionable mutation. In fact, up to 70% of patients with an EGFR mutation also have a pdl one score of 1% or greater. Greg was subsequently found to have an EGFR exon 19 deletion. For a patient with metastatic EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer, such as this, immunotherapy is not FDA approved as first line treatment. This case illustrates the importance of knowing all the results of the mutational panel prior to making a treatment decision. Mutational test results have a major impact on patient prognosis and treatment. 